name's Aji, and in the last week, the community has gotten progressively more wound up about the events of Season 10, leading to the Remove the Mech movement becoming the top trending hashtag on all of Twitter. For days, we heard nothing from Epic about our complaints, until late on Thursday night, when they finally responded to our pleas by releasing a blog titled Fortnite Philosophy Update. So today's video is going to be a bit of a rant as we're going to be breaking down Epic's comments and discussing why this is a major cause for concern and could see the end of Fortnite as a hugely popular game in the not so distant future. I'm going to put the blog post on screen now just in case you haven't read it yet. So pause the video now if you want to read it but I will be going over the main points. So the blog starts like this. Hey folks, we've heard the frequent discussions hashtag remove the mech about the brute and decided this would be a good opportunity to explain the Fortnite philosophy. The mission of Fortnite is to bring players of all skill levels together, to have a fun experience where anyone can win. For example, everyone having a shot at that first elimination or victory royale moment and the satisfying feeling that comes with it. So on the face of it, it's not a bad start. They want everyone to have a chance of winning. And sure, I completely agree that everyone should have a chance. That's the beauty of Battle Royales, where everyone goes in with nothing. And let's make it clear, before the Brutes were introduced, bad players had a chance of winning already. Let's not pretend that the best players won every single game, as that definitely wasn't the case. However, to give lesser skilled players an even greater chance of success, Epic have gone the completely wrong way about it. They're making a PvP game, so skill simply has to matter. Yet by introducing the Brutes, they've completely destroyed the game skill gap. Bad players can kill great players instantly, purely because they've got a Brute, which makes for an infuriating gaming experience. Of course bad players want to win games, everyone does, but they need to earn the wins. These players should be going about it the same way we all did when we first started. We hid in bushes, we practiced learning how to build, we played game after game, desperately hoping to finally get a win. And then when we got one, it felt amazing. However, when using the Brute, it's completely different. Wins don't feel as satisfying because they're so easy to get. You know you don't need to outplay anyone or show any skill. So at least in my experience, wins using the Brute leave me feeling completely empty, devoid of any sort of accomplishment. That rush that you would get from getting one of your early wins is exactly what kept bringing a lot of players back to the game. It was addictive. So by Epic diminishing the accomplishment of getting a win, for newer players, I can see this having a negative impact on even these players, as they won't experience that same rush that we all felt back in our early days of playing Fortnite. Epic then follow this up by saying, right now, we know there are players out there who have never had this opportunity. And I'm sorry, but by now, near enough everyone who actually plays the game, at least semi-regularly, has got at least one win and practically everyone has got a kill. And every time you go into a game, you have the opportunity of winning. You might not have taken advantage of this opportunity, but that doesn't mean the opportunity wasn't there. So I completely reject this claim. They then go on to say that another part of the mission is to provide spectacle and entertainment when playing Fortnite. Bringing these moments to the game every week means that there's always a new way to enjoy and experience the game. And again, what on earth are they talking about? What part of seeing someone blow everyone up easily in a mech is fun to watch? It's boring to play, and it's even more boring to watch. They follow this up by saying that since then, we've seen players who had previously struggled with getting eliminations acquiring more, while the number of eliminations earned by more experienced players remains steady. And yeah, of course players who couldn't get kills before are now able to get more, because the brute doesn't take any skill to use and it allows players to destroy anyone they see. They're basically saying that we need broken mechanics to help bad players, but that's not how you run a game. Games need balance or players get frustrated. And if the less skilled players are the ones getting frustrated, well, do you like most other games out there? Sort out your ranks mode so that these players mainly match up against each other. So they'll be in a better position to stand a chance. Don't ruin the game for everyone, just so the bots can get some easy kills. And I'm sorry, but I'm calling BS on more experienced players getting the same amount of kills now with the Brute in the game. If bad players are able to suddenly kill good players more, then obviously good players are going to get fewer kills. So once again, 
I completely reject this part of Epic's blog. I think it's clear from that latest paragraph that they see the Brute as a success. So not only is it looking like the Brute won't be getting a major nerf in the short term, but it could actually get even worse in future seasons. I mean, this is their philosophy. It's not just a short term idea for them. It's why they added the Infinity Blade before. And now the Brute. Therefore, don't be surprised to see other similar additions added in future seasons. It's bad enough in pubs, but not even removing brutes from arena or tournaments is honestly quite unbelievable. These are supposed to be competitive and skill based, but the mechs completely destroy any skill gap. It's not about who are the best players, it's about who has a brute. So in what world is that competitive? And as if the blog couldn't get any worse, they then say that brute encounters should feel like a unique engagement and not be the dominant experience during a game. And again, what are they talking about? You might not get killed by one every game, but you'll likely see them most games, or at least be conscious of their presence. This season, a lot of players are having to carry buggy bombs, otherwise they'll be screwed when they get attacked by someone in a brute. And then when you do get killed by one, even though it's not happening every game, the overall feeling is massive frustration, knowing that there was very little you could do. It really doesn't matter if you're getting killed by them every game or every 10 games. Getting killed once by something you could do nothing about is one time too many. Epic then goes on to show stats about how many kills the brutes get on average, but these stats are near enough meaningless. Of course the amount of kills brutes get each game is going to be relatively small, so the overall kill count. That's what happens when there's only a few brutes in a game. The players in brutes simply don't have enough time to kill absolutely everyone, but that doesn't make them balanced. Nobody's getting killed by a mech and then thinking, well, I'm glad it's only likely to be my entire squad that's instantly wiped by a mech. What an enjoyable experience. It's irrelevant how many people in a game the mechs impact. Instead, it's the impact that the brutes have on the people it comes into contact with that's important. Epic then finished the blog with this closing statement. We regularly have and will continue to release content that shakes up gameplay in Fortnite in unexpected ways. And we're committed to providing a constantly evolving, entertaining and fun experience to all players. Well Epic, in regards to making an entertaining and fun experience for all players, so far in Season 10, you've failed. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do or the reasons behind it. All it matters is the end result and the players aren't happy. Obviously, it's impossible to know exactly how many people are happy compared to unhappy, but the movement against the mechs has been bigger than we've ever seen before. More than when they added the zombies, more than when they added the planes, and even more than when they added the Infinity Blade. And they made major changes to all of them. So let's hope that Epic once again listens to the players and stops being so stubborn. Otherwise, and it brings me no pleasure in saying this, Epic could end up killing one of the best games we've seen in years. And I don't think there's anything more fitting to say than Season 10 has been the definition of an Epic failure. I just hope the developers don't ignore the players for much longer. So, are you playing much Fortnite at the moment? And have you been able to enjoy Season 10? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to support me as a content creator, then feel free to use my creator code, which is on screen now. So anytime you buy something in the item shop and use my code, it will go directly towards supporting the channel, which would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, Leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye.